we need to find the image of the point 1 comma 2 comma 1 with respect to the given line x minus 3 upon 1 is equal to y plus 1 upon 2 is equal to z minus 1 upon 3 also find the equation of the line joining the given point at its image so let the point p be the point given point 1 comma 2 comma 1 and the line equation x minus 3 upon 1 is equal to y plus 1 we can add y minus of minus 1 divided by 2 is equal to z minus 1 upon 3 so which is in the form of x minus x1 upon a is equal to y minus y1 upon b is equal to z minus z1 upon c so it, since this line is passing through passing through the point x1 comma y1 comma z1 and having direction ratios having direction ratios as a comma b comma c so here passing through so this line is passing through 3 comma minus 1 comma 1 and having direction ratios 1 comma 2 comma 3 let's see this point p 1 comma 2 comma 1 and here is a line equation and we need to find the image of this point p with respect to, to this line let's say q alpha beta and gamma let the point q alpha comma beta comma gamma be the image image of point p with respect to, to the given line l and let m be the midpoint which is on the line let m be the midpoint of midpoint of p and q which lies on l so let's take the general point since we know that x minus 3 upon 1 is equal to y plus 1 upon 2 is equal to z minus 1 upon 3 so let us consider 2b is equal to some constant some lambda which implies x is equal to 1 lambda plus 3 and y is equal to 2 lambda minus 1 and z is equal to 3 lambda plus 1 so we got x value y value and z value so that the point m is coordinates of point m lambda plus 3 2 lambda minus 1 3 lambda plus 1 also we can see that this pm is is perpendicular to the given line and hence the direction ratios of this both are perpendicular the dot product should be equal to 0 let's find direction ratios of given line say b1 so we have 1 comma 2 comma 3 let's find the direction ratios of line joining p and m so point p is 1 comma 2 comma 1 and point m is lambda plus 3 comma 2 lambda minus 1 comma 3 lambda plus 1 so the direction ratios can be taken as lambda plus 3 minus 1 2 lambda minus 1 minus 2 and 3 lambda plus 1 minus 1 
we know that the direction ratios are x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 and z2 minus z1 that is lambda plus 2 comma 2 lambda minus 3 comma 3 lambda so these are the direction ratios say b2 and we know that this since line l is perpendicular to pm so the dot product will be equal to 0 so we can write lambda plus 2 times of 1 plus 2 lambda minus 3 times of 2 plus 3 lambda times of 3 is equal to 0 that is lambda plus 2 plus 4 lambda minus 6 plus 9 lambda is equal to 0 so 1 lambda plus 4 lambda 5 lambda plus 9 14 lambda 2 minus 6 is minus 4 is equal to 0 so that is lambda is equal to 4 upon 14 that is 2 upon 7 so we got the lambda value 2 by 7 so the point m can be taken as 2 by 7 plus 3 2 into 2 by 7 minus 1 3 into 2 by 7 plus 1 that is 7 3 is a 21 plus 2 23 divided by 7 comma 2 to the 4 and here 7 4 minus 7 is minus 3 upon 7 comma and here it is 7 plus 6 13 divided by 7 so 23 by 7 minus 3 by 7 and 13 by 7 is the point m and now q the point is the midpoint so sorry m is the midpoint so we can write 1 plus alpha divided by 2 is equal to 23 by 7 and 2 plus beta divided by 2 is equal to minus 3 by 7 and 1 plus gamma divided by 2 is equal to 13 by 7 so on simplifying we can write 1 plus 1 plus alpha is equal to 23 2 are 46 divided by 7 so that is alpha is equal to 46 by 7 minus 1 so we can write 39 divided by 7 so the value of alpha is 39 by 7 and and of a beta 2 plus beta upon 2 is equal to minus 3 by 7 so we can write 2 plus beta is equal to minus 6 upon 7 so beta is equal to minus 6 by 7 minus 2 that is beta is equal to minus 20 divided by 7 and then gamma 1 plus gamma by 2 is equal to 13 by 7 so what we can add 1 plus gamma is equal to 26 divided by 7 so gamma is equal to 26 by 7 minus 1 that is 19 divided by 7 so we got it finally alpha value that is image of the point image of point p 1 comma 2 comma 1 with respect to the line l is given by q 39 divided by 7 minus 20 divided by 7 and 19 divided by 7 so we got the image point and now the equation of the line since it is passing through the point since this line is passing through the point P and having the direction ratios as the PM that is um, direction ratios we can consider here so we can write x minus so direction ratios of the line let us write here 39 by 7 minus 1 uh, let me write directly x minus x1 that is 1 divided by 39 by 7 minus 1 is equal to y minus 2 divided by so we can write minus 20 divided by 7 minus 2 
is equal to z minus 1 divided by 19 divided by 7 minus 1 that is x minus 1 divided by 39 minus 7 that is 32 upon 7 is equal to y minus 2 divided by minus 20 minus 14 that is minus 34 divided by 7 is equal to z minus 1 upon 19 minus 7 that is 12 divided by 7 on simplifying we can write x minus 1 upon 32 is equal to y minus 2 upon minus 34 which is equal to z minus 1 upon 12 that is x minus 1 by we can cancel with the two table 16 y minus 2 upon minus 17 is equal to z minus 1 upon 6 so this is the required line equation of pq and image point is 39 by 7 comma minus 20 by 7 comma 19 by 7 okay